Good morning, everybody. I got to tell you, it's freezing cold up here in the Northwest. We're not as used to it as some of you guys in the, oh, the, the Dakotas and Michigan and all those places up in Maine, you know. I know, man, it has been really cold here, down in the 20s. I know. We're a bunch of weenies. So, we brought on a new roaster. We're actually, this morning, doing the Madcap Holiday Fusion. Right here in the OXO brain, which is back there, and that's that brewer that you can actually just do hot water for tea, too. Or you can brew yourself up a pot of coffee. So I'm going to pour myself a cup. You go get yourself a cup and come and join me. So as I mentioned, new roaster on the block, in case you guys hadn't noticed, or for those of you who have. And this morning, like I said, I'm doing their holiday blend, which is holiday fusion. We also have the 616, which is their area code in Michigan. Uh, the Rico, which is a single origin, and also the Third Coast Blend. I'm looking forward to trying all these out. I haven't tried them yet, so let's see. There's the Fusion. Fruity, bright. Fruity, mostly, I notice it's, um, uh, yeah, fruity. Yeah, very citrusy, very citrusy. It's not a blueberry like some of the ones we have or that, but very citrusy. Let's just put in my signature half and half. Hmm, good. That's better. I, I like it better with the half and half. That's not one that I would drink um, straight up. So, uh... Leave some comments down below about these coffees if you've already ordered some and what you think of it. And then, speaking of comments, let's check out the comments from last week's videos. What are you drinking this morning? You didn't tell me yet. Comments down below, I wanna know. I'm drinking the Fusion Holiday Blend in case you didn't catch the beginning of this video. Okay, comments from the top three pour over kettles. Uh, w. Patterson says, I only watched this video because I wanted to hear about the stag kettle, even though I own the Bonavita. And voila, what did you find out? That the Bonavita has a timer on it that you didn't know because you don't read the manual. And I can relate. I don't read manuals either. I don't like them. They're just something that's, uh, I'll sit there and play with the buttons. I've been, people have called me a button pusher. Just saying. So, yeah, it's got a timer for all you other guys out there that own the, uh, Bonavita didn't know it had a timer, but it does. And then this person says from the Oscar II review, is the Baratza Encore fine, and f fine grind level good enough for the Nuova Seminelli Oscar II? No, it is not. Uh, it will not go fine enough for espresso, especially on a machine like that that has a non-pressurized portafilter. Don't skimp on the grinder. I know that's a nice price point, but it it's not worth it when you own such a nice machine as the Oscar II. You really want to get a grinder that is going to complement it. You can have a $10,000 espresso machine, and it's only as good as the ground coffee you put in it. You're only going to get a good shot if the grinds are fine enough, consistent, fresh. All of those things matter. So put more money into the grinder, maybe a little less money into the machine itself. And we did a uh, latte laboratory test of the Preciso Virtuoso. Refer to that video, too. We talk about this kind of stuff, all right? So don't cheap out on the grinder. Uh, Nasser writes in, and from the ESAM 3300 DeLonghi review, he wants to know, crew review, he wants to know, he has another DeLonghi machine, and he's asking a quick question. What would you suggest for the grinder number and coffee amount combination to get a good espresso for with medium roast coffee beans. There is no perfect numbers I can give you, settings or ratios. You really need to play around with the coffee you have. It depends on the humidity in the room, the oils in the beans, the blend, all of those things. There is no perfect setting. And on the other side of the coin, every grinder has a bit of a personality. I could say put it on number one on this grinder, and then a, that your buddy has that same grinder, put it on number one, get a different result. So play around with your machine. That's really what you want to do. It's all, it's an experiment. So putz around with the machine, put some other coffee in it, see how that tastes. 
change the ratio of the water per versus coffee, change the grinder settings, and see what happens. And don't forget, when you change the grinder settings, you have to brew three or four out to actually reflect that change. So, onward and upward from our videos of this week. Let's see what's coming up. Uh, those are the videos from last week. Let's see what's coming up this coming week. What do we have coming up this week? We have a crew review of the Osaka stainless steel cone filter. Check that one out. It's just something new as an accessory for you to use with your Chemex uh, or anything that'll fit that cone. And Josh has the top three French press picks. My favorite happened to make the cut and is in one of the, the top three. Guess which one that is. Just look at my old videos. You'll figure that one out. And then also I did a coffee collaboration that is a festive eggnog latte. Love eggnog. Anything to do with eggnog. But I try to stay away from it as much as possible because I'm just... The calories are enormous in a glass of eggnog. It's so good, though. Warming up, a little nutmeg on top. Oh, so good. So thanks a lot for watching on that one, the eggnog one. And we're going to have a sneak peek for you to see what's coming up. This is a very fine mesh out here. And then it's another mesh on the inside. How come the water just doesn't come out of here? Mm -hmm. You don't use any paper with this, so you're going to get more of the oils. And then there's this other one that goes, this is meant for the Chemex. And it's supposed to fit all the Chemexes. It has a rubber ring around the side. Another big update that Espera did to their version of the French press is uh, their filtered basket design. So it is two pieces of nylon interlocked uh, here at the bottom. Uh, no art. I didn't think I'd get any, but you never know. Then she puts a drizzle on, right? Now, that's one thing I noticed. This is set on the, one of the coarsest settings because we were playing around with it to get the coarsest. Flies all over the place. Let me show you what happens. I'm going to take this down to a finer setting. Thanks a lot for watching and joining me for a cup of coffee this morning on this nice Sunday. Uh, this week, coming up on Tuesday, we are going to be drawing, uh, the, uh, drawing for the free giveaway, the Breville Barista Express. So if you haven't signed up, sign up. Tell you all your friends. I mean, somebody's got to win this. And it's not going to be anybody at Seattle Coffee Gear because we're all exempt, so I can't get that nice gift. Darn it, darn it. Uh, anyway, sign up. Tell all your friends. Subscribe down below uh, to our YouTube channel. We just love having you on our team. And I don't know, the rate the weather's going up here. Maybe next week I'll have a down parka on with a big hood with the fur around the edges. I hope not. I hope it turns back into summer again. I hope that was our winter, one week winter. Check out the makeup on our webpage as well. And I hope you guys have a good week. Stay tuned.